Today we're gonna to talk about dealing with death by suicide. I've heard from many of you that you have unfortunately lost loved ones through suicide, so let's talk about it. First, I wanna push you over to a video I did probably a year ago about grief and grieving. You can click over here and check it out if you wanna learn more about the grieving process because today's video is specific to suicide. And obviously everyone's grieving experience is gonna be different. It's gonna feel different to everyone. If anything that I can talk about personally is when I lost my dad, the grief that I felt would change all the time. And it would also come up at the weirdest times, like everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden I'd stumble across something or think, oh, I should give him a call. And I would feel like shit all over again. And it was terrible. So know that your grief and grieving process is your own and there's nothing wrong with it. For the sake of today's video, we're gonna talk about the three ways that suicide is different. The first is the stigma around it. Not everyone is comfortable talking about suicide and different cultures and religions have different beliefs around it. And often when we're struggling with the loss of someone through suicide, it can feel really isolating because we may not have anybody that we can talk to about it openly and honestly. The second, and I think one of the most difficult things that I've heard from you is needing to understand why. Did we miss the signs? Did we do something to cause it? Was there something more we should have done? The questions go on and on and on. And it can be so hard to not have the answers and not have a way to get the answers. We may never know. And I honestly believe that this is what can keep us in the grieving process longer when we lose someone to suicide. So give yourself time, reach out for help and talk to someone about it and know that it's okay to be stuck in this for a while. And the third way that suicide is different is we can have really mixed emotions or complicated feelings about it. We may feel abandoned. We may even be angry at them. Not to mention what I just talked about, feeling like maybe we're to blame. And this comes on top of all of those other quote unquote normal grief and grieving processes and thoughts. And so this can really add to it and at times make it feel really overwhelming. When we lose someone to suicide, unfortunately that then puts us at an increased risk for suicide. So if you find your mind going there, if you have any thoughts of suicide, even if they're passive, if they just come and go, please reach out for help. Please start talking about it. Join a grief group. Those are so beneficial. I can't tell you how much that's helped me and others who have lost loved ones, whether it's to suicide or not. Know that there's help out there and you deserve so much better. It can get better. Often we just have to start talking about it. And for any other of my beautiful Kenyans out there, can you please leave in the comments some positive information and support for those of us out there who may be struggling? That's the wonderful thing about our community is that we can come together in support of each other and help each other feel better. And if you're new to my channel, click here to subscribe. And if you want more videos about suicide and about how to prevent it yourself or for someone you love, click over here and I will see you next time.